Do you want to know how to make a beat like this? Like this? Cool in a bitch. Everything twice my shooter in the field. Tim Gray bought a frame. Or like this. Well, you're in the right place because that's exactly what we're going to be covering in this short video. Um, we're going to be taking a look at how Wheezy makes really catchy, nice sounding guitar beats or just trap beats in general for Gunner. We're going to be making a crazy sample, really bouncy drums. And I'm going to show you how we did it every single step of the way. So yeah, if this is the type of content you like to watch, um, you're a producer or you want to learn how to make beats, then definitely subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on future videos. And if you're looking to get your hands on some sounds that can help you create a beat just like the one we're going to make in this video and the ones you've also just heard, then definitely check out the drum collection. So I'm going to leave a link to them down in the description. But yeah, without any more talking, let's get straight into this video. So this is our beat here. As you can see, we've only got eight different sounds, so it's very, very simple. Let's get into this, how we made this one. The first melody is made with a contact bank called Ilya Efimov Nylon Guitar. <laughs> We're working in the scale of F minor with this one. And uh, let's just play this melody first about any effects and then I'll break it down exactly how we made it and what makes it so good. Yeah, what makes this melody sound like it does, I think it sounds really nice, is there's a few little details. So this is the melody kind of plain Jane. But this is the foundation and it works and it sounds pretty good. So here's the melody with the stuff we took out. There we go. Here we have got this kind of top line melody playing. So it gives it that that gonna feel pleasant sounding melody with the, with this top line melody in there so we've got this sort of it's just creating a nice little catchy rhythm it actually makes a lot of difference and it keeps the rhythm of the melody going uh, and then finally we've got this little strum and when the velocities are like this it just sounds really cool um you know you only get the strum sounds just leading into this next part you know i think this melody sounds very very realistic and with these little tricks here, it definitely, definitely helps. The effects, uh, we're using Guitar Rig again. And the preset we used is called Dreamy Clean Picking. And we've got the mix on 50% as well. Sounds like this. A nice kind of chorusy feel as well. Next, we've got an RC20. Preset's called Sleep Like Crunch from Analog Colors. Just EQ'd off the low end make it a little bit cleaner. So yeah, that's the first melody there. Like I said before, we've taken it, cloned it, and made a second version of it, which we're using here. And it's basically like a way more simple version. Like, as you can see, it's not got the top line melody anymore or the, the, the rhythmic notes in here, you know, just to make it very obvious as to when we're transitioning between chorus and verse. Um, the second thing we've got in terms of melodic instruments is a sound from Ethno World 6 contact library. Uh, the bank is called Bansuri Licks and uh, yeah, this contact bank is fire. Basically just made a little arrangement here with these phrases. And the trick with this really is to kind of take the note you want or the phrase you want here. And you're probably gonna have to fiddle with the tuning a little bit because some of them don't really sound too good. Um, so together those two sound like this. There you go, a little bit of cracked in there as the CPU starts to fall apart, but you know that we keep it moving, <laughs> we keep it pushing. So yeah, those two go together really well. The last melodic element of this beat is a noir felt piano from uh, Native Instruments, I believe, uh, in contact, and we're using the vibrant preset in Grand Piano. Very catchy kind of melody. You know, if we just play it through. The effects are a EQ, RC20, this one's a bit more of a crazy effect, and then an Echo Boy quarter note delay. So all together, those melodies sound like this. I had to render out the melodies real quick because the CPU was being a dickhead, but yeah, all the melodies together sound like this. Definitely a Ghana vibe for sure. Definitely something like Wheezy would make. Yeah, let's get into the drums and the 808 and everything. Um, it's all super simple, but I'm still going to show you guys anyway. The 808 we're using is just a standard Zay. We, all we've done is really just turn the out up a little bit. So it's a bit shorter. But other than that, it's a very simple pattern. Through.
After that, we've got a classic trap hi-hat. Um, and all these drums, by the way, are from the drum collection. Um, I'll leave a link to it down in the description. So yeah, hi-hats sound like this. Bouncy, making a roll just kind of go down like that with the velocities. Um, yeah, really, really nice trick to get that wheezy kind of sound. Um, standard clap, you know what I'm saying? Really standard clap. We've got a little roll here. A little perk roll at the end of the bar here. Jungle perk. And all the drums together, including the 808 sound like this. And in terms of mixing, we've done a bit of leveling and that's about it. No, no effects on the drums at all. Completely standard stuff. So we've got our different sections here. We've got our, our chorus and we've got our verse. Um, the main thing that separates these two sections and it is super important that you make these sections very obvious is um, the melody gets a lot more simple in the verse. So we've taken away, you know, all the stuff I showed you in the beginning and we're not having the flute playing really. You know, it's just a guitar stripped down and, you know, we're starting off with just the 808 and no hi-hat and then the drums run through pretty much as they are, you know, pretty standard. Uh, we bring the piano back in, but that's only towards the end of the verse. And then, yeah, the chorus starts again here. And there you have it. That is how to make a beat for Gunner, like Wheezy. Something super simple, but also really, really nice. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. Make sure you check out the drum collection. It's a drum kit I use for this beat. Um, and also check out Analog Colors, my latest sound library. I'm gonna leave all the links down in the description. Check out my Instagram at Prob by Jack. And uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.